Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to set up the Woodland Mills two setter to go along with our Woodland Mills blade sharpener that we set up yesterday. Get it out of the box. Okay, we've got the instructions right off the bat. There's a whole lot less pieces in this than there were in the blade charger. So kind of in this egg crate material, we've got, looks like three major pieces. Some actual tools. Nice little dial gauge on that. Here's our blade advancer. And then the base. Okay, so pretty much three pieces. The instructions and a small bag of parts. We'll get it set up. Okay, and the first thing I did was, uh, this has three holes to mount it. So I just mounted it to this board that I can now clamp to my little welding table. With this securely mounted to the welding table, we're going to put our bandsaw blade advancer in and it goes on with the one nut and tightened up with the little wrench that they supplied. Okay. Let's see if you work pretty smooth. Okay, so now I'll calibrate the setter and there is the plate that you put in and they said to have it stick up about three eighths of an inch so that it sets hits the plunger which it is now and so squeeze it until it holds it in place and then zero it zero okay so hit the zero is now at zero with the plate in place so you move that. So it is now zeroed. Okay, so it's calibrated and we'll put this up so that we can always do that in the future. Now I'm ready to put my blade into the setter and it goes in these slots. So it's in the slots, and now I will put my roller under the blade. So I've got my blade in the setter, and here are the two bolts that the blade rides on. It's in the slots. Of course, the advancer's here. And I went ahead and just put one of my rollers out here to support the other end. So now we need to adjust the blade so that it advances three teeth. With a pull. So that's one, two, three. Looks like it's pretty well set. We'll keep an eye on it and fine tune it. Okay, so let's put the setter in place. So the next thing I want to do is adjust these blade stops that the blade rides on so that the gullet line is even with the top of the anvil right here. So to do that, just loosen this screw. We're gonna slide that down just a little bit. And there's a, uh, another one just like this on the other side, and we'll do that as well. And they gave us the Allen wrenches as well as the combination wrench to adjust that. So I've got that slid down, I'll loosen this one. So what I did is I've got the gullet pretty much even with the top of the anvil. And then I've got this adjustment screw screwed up so that I've got the same distance above this rail. 
as I've got above that rail. And now I'm just going to move these bolts up and tighten them down and we'll be set for the thickness of this blade. Okay, so we've got our blade put in. We'll set the setter down. And we've got the seam is right here. And the first tooth that bends towards us is this one, which is does happen to be the third blade. And it has a set of 0 0.17, 0.17. And we want to have a set of 0 0.021. And to do that, we're going to squeeze the handle until it stops, which is going to put us at 0 0.48 or 9. When we release it, it goes to 0 0.21 which is perfect and actually 215. So now we're going to release this handle. Advance. We'll advance our blade three teeth, which we move it to that stop and move it back to that stop. And that moved it three teeth. So now when we squeeze our handle together, again, we've got a set of 0 0.017. We're going to squeeze it to the stop, which is going to put it at 4.8. We're going to release it back to 2.15. And that's pretty much how the setter works. So I'll run all the way around these every third teeth, and then I'll move the setter to the other side and do all of the teeth that bend that direction. And then we'll have the blade set to the proper amount. Okay, and this goes, can go pretty quick. So move three turns. We're at 0.14 and squeeze it to 0.48 and right back to, that time it was 1.9. So squeeze it again, 1.95, squeeze it again, 4.8. So then it sprung back to 2.0 oh, and that's close enough for me. Squeeze it, two, one, squeeze it, two, one. So I'm going back and forth between four, eight and two, one. And that's just about perfect. Let's see if I can get another shot of this. Okay, so, and I'm kind of quality control and make sure that the blade stays on every third tooth. And so far it is. And so far my numbers are good. The one thing that I would recommend is setting this up if you can, so that you were standing on that side. So if you're right-handed, like I am, it's a lot of squeezing with your left hand. For me, it's not my strongest hand. But I'm already over halfway through this the first time around. So it's not going to take very long to set these blades. And again, this is the blade that I kind of messed up with the sharpener the other day. Okay, so I've already been around the blade one complete time. Now that I've rotated all the way around the blade once, Take the setter off, spin it around. And set it down on the blade. Go in the opposite direction. Move this to the first tooth. The point's this way. Oops. Same thing, so right now my set is at 15.
and halfway around this one. The sets going that way have been about 15 when I started, but I'm getting them right at 21 as well. Okay, and here comes our welded spot. Okay, so here's our weld. I'm going to go on the other side of that and see if that does. It just barely off. So there's the tooth that I skipped. And I think that's perfect. So we have set. We have set this blade all the way around. And like I said, it only took a couple minutes per side. The one thing that I saw was the squeezing action on, with, for me, with my left hand, it'd be easier if that was on the right. But hey, some people are left-handed, so it's good that they have options too. <laughs> what I did was I just moved it forward and then squeezed it with both hands. So not a big deal either way. Uh, I'm sure people say you need to work out a little more, but there we go. So that blade is completely set both directions with the third tooth being the straight tooth or the raker tooth, and I think it's gonna work really well. So what I did notice was uh, that blade, the set was off quite a bit. So they want it right at 0.0215, I guess. So anyway, most of these were at 15 to 16, either way, whichever way they went. And having this reset to factory specs, I'm sure it's gonna make a difference and help with the longer life of our blade. So. I sharpened this one once, now I did kind of mess it up just a little bit uh, by getting too deep in a couple spots as I was playing with the adjustments on our uh, bandsaw sharpener. But what I've decided is I'm gonna do about five of these blades and then keep running them, keep resharpening them, run those same five until they break or they grind the teeth off of them and see how this does. And the reason I wanna do that is I don't wanna sharpen, I probably got 20, 25 blades, something like that. And I don't want to sharpen 25 blades and then, like I said, realize that, you know, I did it, didn't do it right or something. So I'm going to just cycle five of these blades through, find out how many sharpenings I get on them and what kind of use. But like I said, at $20 a piece, if you can get a $20 blade, if you can get, you know, $100 worth of use out of it, that's not bad, uh, especially because this setter wasn't that expensive. So your mileage may vary, but I think it's pretty cool. Thanks a lot for watching.